Ooh, hello, but it's Sarge Epic here, and welcome to a special video I actually have for you guys today, because this is a special occasion. These do not happen often, but I'm trying to make it a more common thing. I just brought back my recap review video, so I'm going to try to bring back um my... I'm going to try to bring back my RJ Talks videos, too. Um, so yes, I already said it. Welcome to an RJ Talks. Um, today I have something special for you guys. This is a weird video to just come out of the blue with no announcement or anything. Or no, like, tease or anything like that. But, um, I just thought of it today. Like, look, I just thought of it probably about an hour, hour and a half ago. And the thought I'd do it. Um, because actually, as I already told you guys in the past video, I'm going to be leaving... Actually, I'm leaving tomorrow, and I'm leaving for six days. Won't be back till next Friday, so I won't be able to make any videos. I might pre-record uh, one or two videos and see if I can upload them while I'm gone, but I doubt because the I we don't have internet, but my neighbors have internet, so it'd be kind of hard to upload a video. But it might happen. Um, but the the topic of this video is going to be in my top twenty six. Marvel characters that I want to see into the MCU. The reason it is 26, it orig originally was going to be 20, but then I thought of more characters that I want to add to the list, but couldn't replace any, so I made it 25, and then I want even numbers for those OCD people, so I can do 12 per part, because it's probably going to be a two-part thing, might even be three-part thing, which if it's three parts, uh, I don't know how what that's split into, actually, but, um, yeah, 26, I just made an even number, so, hmm. Um... Anyway, though, um, yeah, anyway, sorry, I got distracted for a second, um, so I'm gonna get started right off, and, um, so I have some comics to show off for visual aid for some of these characters, but some I don't, uh, cause some, uh, characters I actually don't have any comics, I've never read about them really, but I know about them, and I'll also explain the reasons why I want them in the MCU, why I think it'd be cool for them to be in MCU. This might be a free part thing, which means it'd be about six. Actually, it might be free parts, guaranteed, probably. Which means it would be, um... Damn, it would be... Um, sorry, I'm just counting here, um... Which means it would be nine. No, wait, 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 wait. Sorry. Um. It would be nine for the first two parts, and then eight for the third part. Which the way I keep talking, it will be a free part for you. We'll see how far I get for this first part, and then I'll decide. I guess. Well. No, I'm going to have to decide quicker than that. It probably will be a free part thing. And the first part will be coming out tonight. I don't think I'll release all free parts tonight. Because I actually won't have time. Well, it's not that I don't have time to. But I really want to do other stuff before I leave. So you guys might well either be receiving them while I am gone on vacation. I'm going to call it vacation even though I'm not going to enjoy it. Um, while I'm on vacation, uh, you, uh, you ought to get the two parts done. Or you guys will get them when I come back. But I'm going to record all of it tonight. Maybe you'll get two parts tonight. And I'll have a third part. Hopefully while I'm on vacation. Anyway, since I'm already like four minutes in. I have a feeling that I'm going to go for. I'm going to try to get. Um, I don't know. We'll see how fast I get into it. And then I'll decide within the first few or so. So yeah. Anyway, the first and the 26th. Um, these are these are kind of ranked in the order I would like to see them, but kind of not. So just think of that I'll tell you, um, if they are in the order, like if I feel like they should be here, or maybe I, if I don't. But for now, the twenty sixth one is Hi Hyperion. I would like to see Hyperion, and the reason why I would like to see Hyperion in the MCU is because, well, first. Actually, you know what? This first part might have like six characters in it, and then I'll do ten per the other two parts. I don't know. Or, um. Or. This part will have eight, maybe. Eight. No, 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 no. This part will have nine. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. We'll see. Um. 
Anyway, like I was saying, the reason I would like to see Hyperion in or why I think he could fit into the MCU is he could either be a good guy or a bad guy. He has previously he has um, been a bad guy before. In this series specifically, he is actually an Avenger and he's a good guy. Um, in the Marvel now, he was like a good guy. I don't know. He's kind of like an anti-hero. He's, he's like a... He's a tweener, he's been. Um, but I think he could fit well into the story. Um, he could... Because he could be good, go bad. He could be bad and go good. Um, and actually, a story I would like to see is kind of like the story in the backstory we see in this issue of Avengers World, which is issue number six. If you have not read Avengers World, this is actually the last issue I have so far. Um, I recommend you get it. Um, but... Um, as the story in this issue is really good about Hyperion, and that's kind of why I would like to see him in the MCU. If they did something around this, he's like a good guy in this, but like, of course, this world's been destroyed. But like, it's kind of hard for him to not be scared. That can happen to it, it, the planet he's on now, and he kind of he kind of has that ruthless side like hidden in him. But I don't know. It's just really good. I think it could work. Maybe in an Avengers movie. I don't know where. If maybe he could have his own movie. I don't know what movie he would fit into. Um, really. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I don't really know what movie he'd fit into. But. It'd be interesting. To say the least. Um. I don't know. Maybe like. Maybe an Avengers movie. Or if they have a spin-off Avengers movie. Um. He could have his own movie, but I don't know. That'd kind of be weird. Um, hmm. Whatever. I'm going to move on anyway. Um, I do not have a visual aid for the next character, so I'm going to keep it on Hyperion for now. I'm sorry. Um, the next character I would like to see in the MCU, and I think a lot of people would like to see this in, uh, character in the MCU or haven't thought of her, um, but would definitely like to see her if, they, if that proposal gets in their mind. Um, and that is Enchantress. Um, I do not know why this character is not in the MCU. Enchantress is pretty cool from what I know of her. Which is not that much really. Because I don't have a comic that she's in. Actually, um, I, that's a lot. I might, but I forget. I have so many comics. That she's probably not in a comic that I've read in a while. Um, but yeah, I don't really know much about her. The main reason I like Enchantress is because I play Marvel's Avengers Academy. And that's probably my favorite mobile game. And she's awesome in that. But, I mean, I do know some about her besides just from that game, of course. Um, she's like Asgardian or whatever. She's a villainess. Um, she is a villain. And we definitely have, are lacking on female villains in the MCU, I think. There's a couple of those on this list, actually. Um, I would definitely like... To, there's a few. Um, I would like, definitely like to see um, Enchantress. Probably, most likely in a 4 movie, I would imagine. Maybe an event based movie. I don't know. I wouldn't see her in an Avengers movie, of course. I mean, mm, be kind of funny to see her in, like, trying to seduce Cap or something with the will that he has. I don't know. I don't know what... I don't really know what movies some of these characters would go into, but I would like to see them. Anyway, moving on to another character that I don't have visual aid. Actually, the next two do not. And that is... That was number 25, by the way, in Chances. Number 24 is Hawkeye. I, I know what you're saying. What? Hawkeye's already in the MCU? By Hawkeye, I mean Kate Bishop Hawkeye. If you don't know, there's a female Hawkeye in the comics, and her name's Kate Bishop. Um, I'm thinking the way... The tone that was set for Hawkeye in the MCU, it feels like Hawkeye's not going to be around that much longer. It wasn't even... He was kind of like, he's like, he was retired in Civil War, but then came out of retirement. So, I don't know. Maybe Hawkeye's, like, not going to stick around. At least that actor's not going to stick around for much uh, longer. Um, but I could, instead of maybe just replacing, getting another male actor to play Hawkeye. Because I don't want to see, I want to see Hawkeye stick around. Actually, I want Hawkeye to get his own movie. Maybe we um, switch the transition to Hawkeye character into Kate Bishop, the female Hawkeye. Who has actually kind of got a um, cult like ba fan base, um, and she actually uh, she came she was early two thousands I think was when she was created, and then she kind of disappeared for a bit, came irrelevant, and then she, in recent years she has returned, and the fans uh, like her as much, and she's pretty popular. So, uh, that'd be a cool character. I this was kind of just like a random one I threw on my list. I think she could fit into maybe like a young Avengers or new Avengers. Like they, I think they should do an Avengers like another Avengers uh, series of movies. 
or she could just be thrown up into normal Avengers. I don't know. Or a Hawkeye movie could happen. Maybe both Hawkeyes could be in. Or it could be her movie end up being. I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, moving on to number 23, which does not have a visual aid either. Um, that is The Vulture. Which, if you uh, haven't followed rumors for the Spider-Man Homecoming, he is rumored to be a possible film for that. And I would like to see that. Personally, um, Vulture is a film we have not seen in the Spider-Man movie yet. And I think that would be a cool one. He's a fly. He flies... Um, and it's, he's not really that threatening, but I mean, it'd be kind of a cool starter film for Spider-Man. I would definitely like to see that. So obviously he would fit in the Spider-Man. Um, I would like to see him as a, a, the film or a film for Spider-Man Homecoming. So yeah, that's my thoughts on that. Anyway, moving on to 22, which I have official aid for, and that is Nova. Okay. I don't know why. Okay. Um... First off, Nova could have his own movie, but um, I would like to. I I could also see him being in Guardians of the Galaxy. They had the Nova Core and the original Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, I don't know. I don't really care that much about which version of Nova, but personally, the only Nova version I really know is Sam Alexander. That's the one I like and know. I don't really. I, I know Richard Ryder was the former Nova. I don't really know much about that Nova. I don't. Is that the Nova that's uh Sam Alexander's dad? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't know. Um, but I would like to see Noah get his own movie because uh, in all new different Avengers, I do like. I mean, what, why would I see Nova? I like him. I mean, in this series, he's kind of like. Mm. I mean, he's like one of the characters I care about least, probably. But um, in Original Sin and Number Zero, I loved Noah's part in that. The character seemed awesome. I don't. Um, and this, the story that um, I know of Nova so far, at least this version of Sam Alexander, seems like. It would be good for... It could work for a movie. It kind of feel I don't know. his He doesn't know where his dad is. Blah, blah, blah. Feels kind of like a Star-Lord type uh, story. But whatever. I'm going to move on to... I actually fish away for this one too. Um, I'm going to move on to number, my number 21. Being Black Cat. Um, Black Cat. It's definitely a film I would like. She, she uh, she's been in a hero before, at least an anti hero. No, at one point she was a hero, but I think she, most times she is definitely a villain. I would say, and I, I don't know. I mean, as much as I would love to see her as a hero, I think she fits more as a villain, uh, or at least an anti hero. Um, and she could be like that um, seductress, basically, just trying to always like, just get get what she wants. Blah blah blah. I don't know. But yeah, Black Cat, um, she's probably one of my favorite Spider-Man films or Spider-Man related characters, to be honest. I really love Black Cat. She's an awesome character, in my opinion, and I would love to see her in a movie. And actually, Spider-Man Homecoming coming up, I doubt she'll be in it, but you never know. Maybe in a sequel, she can join, because she has not been in a Spider-Man movie yet, and that's a shame. Felicia Hardy, um, I want you, um, hmm. Anyway, guys, I'm going to end this first part here. I think in the, uh, there's 20 people left, so I think you'll get 10 per the next two parts. Um, because if, if, if I have enough time. But I did a little too much talking this time. I did, like, between four and five minutes of just talking. Or else I could have done more. I could do one more, but I don't want to, I don't want to end it on like that. So I'll just, I'll just end it here. Um, and anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, comment, even share if you want to. And like like I was saying, anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please tune into the next part, the next two parts. There should be two parts of this still. Um, like I said, I will see you all later, and peace out.